I'm, I'm now going to play an another track from jo Joe Cure, the Cure CD. Um, on Tuesdays, when we do the We Not Know show with, with John Mayhe, we've been playing uh, Just Stone quite a lot. Well, we've played Just Stone's Water For Your Soul on this, on this show as well. Um, but we've also played some comment on that CD being the top-selling reggae CD, uh, according to Billboard, for last year. And we've started to look at uh, Jar Cure CD, The Cure, because I think that would have been the top-selling reggae CD. Um, but it turns out there's not a lot of stock at HMV. Um, I just think this is worth worth checking out. Uh, the extra HMV, I think the policy is to have one copy in stock, and when it's sold, then they'll order another one, and it'll turn up maybe the week a week later, something like that. So I don't know. It just sort of gives me an, an idea of what the what the um, the scale is. I don't know how many people are listening to this show. Uh, what influence we have when we say anything or play a sample track. Um, but I think this this CD is well worth having a look at. And um, if there is only one copy in HMV Extra at any one time, then maybe somebody listening will will go go and buy it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go into HMV every so often and see uh, if there is a copy in stock and if it, uh, if it gets sold. But it, it just suggests to me the scale of CD sales is not what it was. My colleagues in the studio are deep in their phones now, downloading stuff or checking their emails, um, whatever, so... I'm not on the phone. <laughs> He's on the phone. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, I'm still in the world of CDs. I think, I think it's still, still, is, uh, still is interesting. This, this chat is called Life We Live.